We have a dream and goal. Now this dream and goal, is it a miracle? No, it's a dream, it's a goal. And if you achieve it, you would probably set another goal. You have a goal, you set your mind to it, you probably achieve it. You're not gonna be like, oh my God, it's a miracle. Not really, you had a dream, you went for it and you got it. What is a miracle? A miracle is the thing you least expect. A miracle is something that you wouldn't even believe. You wouldn't even think of it. You wouldn't believe it. Like if, if somebody told you, hey, by the way, you're gonna be a Hollywood movie star next year. Like that you, you're like, Sorry, what, me? What, what are you talking about? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? That's a miracle because that, that's outside of your limited mind, your conditioning. Your mind cannot fathom what's going on. A miracle is beyond you. And the only way to manifest miracles, us being a manifesting miracles, is when we surrender, connect and flow. We allow that universe message to move through us. And right now, the universe has a very big message for every single one of you. A huge message. Number one starts with intention. I want to set intentions with everybody first. I want you to set very powerful, very strong intentions for your health, for your wealth, your financial abundance, your, your, your time freedom, your money freedom, for your love, for your romantic relationship, also for your family, love, your friends, love, your community, your tribe, the people around you, the love in your life. And the final pillar, I want you to set an intention for your purpose. Why am I here? What is my higher purpose or higher calling? Okay? We start with intention. Okay. After intention, number two, we need to work on equipping your vessel, equip yourself. You need to equip your physical vessel to be able to achieve those intentions. You have to equip this vehicle that we are living in right now. We got to equip ourselves, okay? We got to prepare and equip ourselves. Number three, what do we do? Follow the signs, flow. That's all. I set an intention. After I set an intention, I need to keep, quick, keep equipping myself. In fact, the more I equip myself, the more signs I will see. The more I equip myself to that intention, the more powerful that magnet will become. I want you guys to write that down. The more I equip myself towards the intention, the more powerful that magnet will become. That magnet is the sign. You call it intuition, you call that calling, you call that God speaking to you, you call it whatever you want to call it. The more you equip yourself towards that intention, the more you will feel this pull and this calling, okay? But we cannot forget, we cannot achieve manifesting miracles in our life if we do not do this. And I want to explain what I mean by that. Is it an accident or coincidence that you guys are hearing the message you are hearing right now? Absolutely not. There are no accidents. There has to be somewhat of some alignment between what I am to say and share in these three days to your destiny. That's why you're here. 12 years ago, I went to an event in London. The guy said, you all have a message. I was the shyest, biggest introvert in the whole room. I was sat right in the corner, hiding. My limited mind at that time would say this I don't know what this is about. Why are they saying that? Got nothing to do with me. I remember prior to that one event, because I was sold onto that event. I had to pay for a ticket to go to that event. But what made me go to that event? I was at another event. I listened to around 11 or 12 speakers speak one after another. It was like a success summit. I enjoyed so many of the speakers. I thought they're wonderful, amazing. I'm learning so much. Then there was one speaker from the US who stood on stage and he pissed me off. I, I, I'm telling you, I legit felt like I hated this guy. He won, I went on stage so obnoxious. In life, you're either rich or you're broke. And if you're broke, it's your fault. I was like, dude, horrible. You are a horrible human being and I don't like you. I liked every other speaker on this stage, but you, you are horrible. 
All the other speakers were offering programs and courses and different things to do further education. I invested in so much. I used like £30,000 back then. Swipe my credit cards. Forex trading, learning. Domain trading, learning. Right? Property investment, learning. Started investing, investing, investing. Then when this speaker came on stage, I was like, dude, I know you're going to sell me a program, but I don't care what you sell me. I'm not going to go because you are a horrible person. How dare you say that about broke people? At the end of his speech, I bought his program. <laughs> but I'll tell you something, even though I bought his program, I was like, okay, you're making a bit of sense, okay? But I still don't like you. <laughs> I was stubborn. I was very stubborn. I still don't, it doesn't mean I, I can't, yes, I'll pay for your program. It doesn't mean I like you. That was the program that I went to where he said, you have a message. From there, I paid for another program, 15,000 euros and learned speaking. And this many years later, I don't know how many millions of lives uh, our work has gone out to now. That's a miracle. To me, that's a miracle. Only people from my school will know, will know that I went through the whole of school not speaking. I actually didn't, I legit didn't speak. Like, just didn't, didn't say a word. When I said a word, my, my face would go red. It would be like that. That's why some of my, my, my school friends, they see me, they see me sometimes post on Facebook. They're like, is this th that guy from school? Oh, that's a miracle. But how did that miracle align? I was sat at that event. It was not by accident. I was supposed to be there. Universe had prepared me to be there. But there's two things though. There will be people who are in the room who don't get the message. There will be people in the room who sat in that room who don't get the message they're supposed to get. Then there will be the other people where the message lands. There is going to be a bunch of people who will thrive. They will manifest loads of miracles moving forward. There also will be a bunch of people where their lives stay very much the same. And I'll tell you what the biggest blockage may be. I've seen somebody in amongst all the comments before. I have many, many comments here, loads. Think about it. Many, many Zoom screens, many people from all around the world, many walks of life. And I just caught a comment on one of the Zooms before. And it said, I don't like how this content is being taught. I want to say something. I'm not here for you to like me. I'm also not here to make you like how the content is being taught. I'm here to deliver whatever that message is the way it's supposed to be delivered for you. In exactly the same way, 12 years ago, when somebody said, you're either rich or you're broke. And if you are broke, it's your fault. Imagine he said that in front of a thousand people. I took it personally. I did I did not like it. I'll tell you why I didn't like it. Because it was true to me. Face it. Think about it. If I was extremely abundant and rich sat there, all the freedom and money in the world, would I get offended? Yes or no? about him talking about broke, I would not be offended. You only get offended if you have an element of that. How many of you have caught a liar out before? How do you catch a liar out? You say, are you lying? What, what are you talking about? Why are you saying I'm lying? Liars react biggest, no? We always share this example. We say, if 10 people are walking down the street, 10 people walking one way down the street, one person behind yells out, hey, stupid. Somebody turns around and says, why you call me stupid? What does that show? Nine people are still walking. One person turns around and said, why are you calling me stupid? And nine people are confidently, they are so confident that they are not stupid. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Hey, stupid. You're like, well, definitely not talking to me. One person turns around. Who are you calling stupid? Now, who called who stupid? You call yourself out. There will be multiple times you will call yourself out. The moment you call yourself out, you may feel a bit of a fool. Oh my God, I just reacted, but it's okay because we have a safe space for learning. We all accept that everybody's on a different part of their journey, that everybody has inner traumas, doubts, fears, insecurities, but we are all here to help one another. So it's okay. You recognize these things. You recognize you reacting to things. You recognize that master just said that thing. I don't like what he just said. No problem, not mine. And if the truth hurts to you, then that's the hurt you have inside. That needs healing. That needs work. And if you can have the courage 
to step up and witness your reaction and see yourself even maybe oh that was a little bit foolish of me to that's fine but you come to acceptance and willingness to change that's all it takes because 12 years ago i dropped that ego and i said you know what okay i get it you're right thank you thank you thank you for shouting at me from stage thank you for calling me out telling me how broke i was thank you for telling me that i wasn't living my purpose thank you for telling me that i have a voice and i shouldn't be that shy and i shouldn't be thank you thank you thank you if i could turn back time i would, i would just i would just i would be so great i would say, thank you thank you thank you 